Hey guys, Melissa Sacco, your Beach Buddy Coach, and we're going to talk about mixing Shakeology today because there is a right and a wrong way to do it, and I want you to know how to plan your meals accordingly. Um, when you're following the 21 Day Fix, Shakeology counts by itself as a red container. Now you can add whatever you want to Shakeology. If you hate eating vegetables, you can take a green container full of spinach and dump it in your shake. It's one of the veggies that you really won't taste, but if you have a hard time getting your vegetables in, go ahead and throw it in your shake. You can add fruit. Just make sure you're taking your purple container, counting it in your food counts, and throwing it into your Shakeology. Personally, I like my shakes pretty plain. Um, I personally use around 12 to 14 ounces of water, a cup of crushed ice, and then I'll sometimes flavor it with um, like a lemon extract or orange extract or almond extract because the extracts don't count in your food counts. So if you're adding half a banana, it counts as a purple container and a red container. Whereas if you're adding the extracts, you don't have to count them. Cinnamon, coffee, you don't have to count that stuff. Those are all free foods. Um, your best, my best advice is to have your shake by lunchtime. It's going to help curb your curb your cravings manage your hunger, give you energy throughout the day because you're starting off with a great big boost of vitamins, but you can drink your shake at any point. When you're blending it, if you find that it has like a powdery taste or a gritty taste or like a weird, like, you know, chalky flavor, you may need to add a little bit more liquid or you may need to blend it longer. I usually blend it around 30 to 45 seconds. And yes, it does matter. All these things matter. So start to take notes of like, what flavors you like or don't like. If it tastes watered down and has like a funny aftertaste, you may need to reduce the liquid. And it's all based on your taste buds. My mom makes her shakes completely different than I do. She uses a ton of water, not enough ice. They taste disgusting for me. Mark adds like two purple containers of fruit sometimes and oats and that's not my taste either. So play with the recipes. There's literally like a thousand recipes you can play with for Shakeology. Go to Shakeology.com, go to Pinterest, whatever. Just make sure you're counting your containers of extra food that you're putting in there. Um, if you're adding skim milk or almond milk, you do have to count that as a yellow container. You could use, I would say, two to three ounces of almond milk. It's Un, make sure it's unsweetened almond milk or unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Go organic on that. Avoid things with carrageenan or soy lecithin, those binding agents that are linked with cancer. That's my opinion. Um, you can add two to three ounces and not count it, but if you're adding a full eight ounce serving of almond milk or skim milk to your shake, you have to count it. So for me, I would prefer to eat, you know, like um, steel cut oats or an Ezekiel muffin instead of pouring a liquid into my shake. I just prefer it with water. You could throw coffee in there. You don't have to count that. Um, so, again, Shake Allergy by itself counts as a red. Anything you add to it, you have to count. Start with 10 to 12 ounces of liquid and add a little bit at a, at a time until um, you find the flavor that's right for you. And then mark it down. Like, my blender has measures measurements on it, so I just... Fill it up every day to the same thing. I know what my base of water is, what my base of ice is, and then I play with the recipes after that. So good luck. Oh, I want to tell you, if your belly starts to feel funny with shake allergy, it can take three to five days for things to kind of adjust. You may find yourself running to the bathroom. You may find yourself not running to the bathroom. Your food might be changing. You might be introducing a ton of fiber where you didn't have that in your diet before or... Um, you know, there's so many things that are changing. There's probiotics, there's prebiotics, there's digestive enzymes in shake allergy. It's going to help your digestion regulate, but it takes a couple days to, you know, for everything to kind of balance out. So if you're experiencing any type of tummy troubles, whatever it is, you have to let me know, or if you're in a combined challenge group, you have to let your coach know, whoever enrolled you, so that they can guide you based on what you're problem is or what your concern is if you're not enjoying the flavor or you want to change it up always reach out to the coaches because that's why we are here so good luck making your shakes share your recipes to the group if you try something new please post I'm always looking for new recipes for it because it's something that you can change up every day but you're still getting a huge block of nutrition from it so all right good luck